DRDO's Ridrum 2, a supersonic Mach 5.5, 300-350 km air-to-surface missile, with a 200 kg warhead, and a novel dual-seeker, meaning a passive radar homing, plus an imaging infrared sensor, which means if an enemy radar shuts down and moves, Ridrium 2 switches to imaging infrared to detect the warm transport vehicle, enabling strikes on mobile, powered-down emitters. Trials began in 2024 on Su-30 MKIs. Integration for Tejas, Jaguar and Rafale is planned to boost India's suppression of enemy air defense's capability. In a major boost to Atmanirbhar Bharat, Indian startups have delivered fully indigenous FPV kamikaze drones to the army for just $400 each, making them the world's most affordable. Developed under the by Indian category, these drones rival Ukraine's low-cost models while offering precision strike capabilities. Leading firms like Inside FPV Ventures and Mahershi Industries spearheaded the project, enhancing India's tactical drone warfare and reducing dependence on foreign suppliers after successes like Operation Sindor. Israel's Rafael has offered the Sky Sting BVRAM to the IF for Tejas MK1A and Su-30 MKI integration. The missile reaches up to 250 kilometers, uses a three-pulse rocket, features an RF seeker with ECCM, with a speed featuring hypersonic and terminal phase, and a weight of about 180 to 200 kilograms. IF evaluations are planned by Q2 2026, with a possible 200 to 300 unit buy and make in India co-development to bridge the gap before Astra MK3, which is scheduled for 2029-30. DRDO is developing the surface wave over the horizon radar, a bi-static high-frequency radar, capable of detecting ships, submarines, and low-flying aircraft, up to 500 kilometers beyond the line of sight. Led by LRD Bengaluru, it uses surface wave propagation along the ocean to enhance stealth and all-weather performance. Core subsystems are complete, with antenna trials set for 2026 in Gujarat. Integrated with Integrated Air Command and Control System, SWOTH will strengthen India's maritime surveillance against expanding Chinese naval activity. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is upgrading its CATS Warrior UCAV to carry Astra MK2 and MK3 air-to-air -air missiles, extending its strike range up to 300 plus kilometer. Already armed with the Astra MK1, the Warrior will soon conduct radar-guided attacks, directed by fighter jets or AWACS, enhancing India's man-on-man -man teaming capabilities. HAL also plans a larger interceptor variant, with an internal weapons bay, enabling stealthy swarm operations, for deep penetration and border defense missions. In a major step toward sustainable maritime defense, Rolls-Royce has offered to collaborate with the Indian Navy to develop India's first electric warship. The proposal, unveiled during the UK Carrier Strike Group's Mumbai visit, led by HMS Prince of Wales, highlights Rolls-Royce's MT-30 marine gas turbine and integrated full electric propulsion expertise. The partnership aligns with India's self-reliance and green defense goals, aiming to cut emissions, enhance stealth, and modernize naval propulsion for future hybrid electric warships. Azerbaijan's Caspian Broadcasting Company, CBC, has spotlighted Russia's Su-57E stealth fighter as a superior option for India compared to Pakistan's planned acquisition of China's J-35A jets. In its report, CBC cited China's ongoing struggles with reliable fifth-generation engines as a key weakness, contrasting them with Russia's more advanced AL-41 F1 turbofan. The proposed $15 to $20 billion Su-57E deal, offering technology transfer and local production, could strengthen India's air power and bridge the gap until the indigenous AMCA arrives. CBC framed the rivalry as a strategic chess move shaping South Asia's aerial dominance.
India is reportedly moving to finalize a government-to-government -government deal with France for 90 Rafale F-4 fighter jets by 2026, streamlining its long-delayed MRFA tender. The Defense Acquisition Council is expected to clear the plan in October 2025, with deliveries beginning around 2028. The advanced F-4 variant offers upgraded radar, electronic warfare systems, and compatibility with Indian weapons like BrahMos and Astra. The deal, potentially worth over $12 billion, aims to quickly restore IF squadron strength and maintain air superiority, even as critics warn of high costs and budget strain. Armored Vehicles Nigum Limited, AVNL, is developing fully bulletproof ambulances for the Indian Army to conduct safe medical evacuations from conflict zones. Built on the Tata 407 platform, these vehicles will feature composite armor, IED resistant underbodies, run flat tires, and modular medical interiors for multi casualty rescue. Designed under the Atmanurbar Bard initiative, they fill a major gap in protected medevac capability outperforming existing Ashok Leland and SML Isuzu ambulances that lack full ballistic protection. Adani Defense and Aerospace has joined forces with Hyderabad-based MTR Technologies to bid for the Rs 15,000 core prototype contract of India's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA. The partnership combines Adani's large-scale aerospace manufacturing with NTAR's precision engineering and materials expertise. Their consortium will focus on airframe integration, systems engineering, and rapid prototyping. They join six other contenders including HAL, Tata, and BL, LNT, in competing for the landmark project, as DRDO and ADA prepare to shortlist firms based on technical and financial strength. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.